screen and then record. I think I just got it. It's recording. Okay, let's go. Okay, so welcome again to the Taos Artist Organization's very first uh, virtual studio tours preview party. I'm Sarah Bush. Again, I'm the vice president of Tau. We're just going to jump right in because we had a little glitch there and I don't want people to have to wait. And the first thing we really want to do is thank our sponsors because in this un really unusual, stressful year, several uh, you know, businesses in town and even a couple of artist members really stepped up and, and sponsored this tour, which really helped us make this happen because the typical grants that we get were not happening because of COVID and the money's needing to go elsewhere. So as you're going around in the tour and visiting studios, just know that these organizations right here Taos Community Foundation, Five Star Burgers, uh, Dorothy Romo, she's a Rise from the Forest Floor and a member, uh, Ace, Mattress Mary's, Taos Dental, Sentinel Bank, SIDS, Inger Jerby, another member, uh, Wolfgang Spa Works. They all were sponsors and the Taos News and the Taos Main Street both did in-kind matches. And we're just super grateful to these organizations and just know that they're real supporters of the arts and we're so appreciative. And now what we're going to do is I'm gonna go through the map um, in order and introduce each artist. Not all the artists are here and I can't actually tell that. So if I'm just gonna wait a second and if I don't hear from someone, I'll just say a brief something about them and then uh, we'll move on. So we're gonna start our very first number. If you've noticed, if you looked at the map, it starts with number two. And that's because our member who was at number one felt like for health reasons, he had to drop out from doing the actual tour. So our very first uh, member here is Janine Boré. Janine, would you like to say something about your work? Did I lose Janine? Janine was there. She sure was. I'm just going to give her a... Um, Janine, I'm going to ask you to unmute. You're muted. Unmute. Thank you. Okay, now you can start over, okay? Oh, good. <laughs> That's my dog back here. My painting portrays a specific moment, like a haiku poem. I paint to relax in mind and body and to get in a flow. Another reason I paint is to portray a fleeting moment, a fleeting experience. If I get these reasons right, my paintings will remain fresh and intriguing. Everyone should have an original work of art. Something original, something handmade, will take you to someplace unexpected. So I'll be at tour stop number two, my paintings are being shown outside. I hung them all, a hundred of them, on my fence today. <laughs> Drop by, you'll be able to look from the mountains, to look at the mountains, to the paintings, back to the mountains again. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Janine. That was lovely. A hundred paintings, that's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> wow. We're all jealous. <laughs> right. So uh, Margaret Tang is one of our older members and she doesn't have uh, a computer. But this is one of her paintings and she's number three on the studio tour on uh, 34 or Ortiz Road. So um, you might want to stop by there and see more of her wildlife work. <laughs> Margaret also sculpts. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I don't know. Lynn was trying very hard to get on the call and I don't know if she succeeded. I don't see her yet. She was, um, I know this, that will be disappoint her, but Lynn is a potter and this is one of her pieces here. She works in stoneware. Um, she has taught at different uh, universities and she has done different kinds of production pottery and individual pieces. And she's number four on the tour map uh, Eight Nickel Road. So again, her name is Lynn Fitzgerald, and this is one of her lovely platter pieces. So next up is Tawny Schuler. Tawny, you would you like to share a little bit about your work? 
Yes, can you can you hear me? Yes. Hi. So uh, my name is Tani Schuler, and I am a mixed media artist living here in Taos, New Mexico. I am number five on the studio map, and this year my studio is actually also outside. I've got a great big tent um, and a bunch of easels, so as soon as you pull into the driveway, you're going to see it right there. Um, the work that I'm going to show for the tour uh, explores themes of community, unity, and balance. And I use animals from this lovely, wonderful Western landscape as metaphors for what is going on in the world today. So if you're local, I hope to see you sometime this weekend at my studio. But if you're not and you're watching from somewhere else and you have questions, please visit my website and uh, send me an email. That would be great. Fantastic. Thank you, Tawny. Next up. So this is Diana Smith. I don't think that Diana is with us today either, but she's part of the Taos Watercolor Society. And she's number six on the studio tour map at 10 Cerro Ventoso Road. So please stop by her space and see more of her watercolors. She's one of the watercolor artists in this group. So this is me. <laughs> I'm Sarah Bush and I'm a mixed media artist and I'm number seven on the tour map. I work in a, in a variety of media, but during the tour, I'll be showing a lot of my work on metal and such as this piece here, which I call what hope looks like. In my metal work, I do a lot of layering and mixing of hand and digital processes. I'm also launching a fun project that I'll be running all fall up to election day. So please stop by my studio to find out what that's all about. I'll have plenty of seating in the shade if uh, you have to wait and a little swag bag for my first 50 visitors. And as a little side bonus, you'll get to see all my neighbor's junk in her side yard because her fence just fell down this afternoon. <laughs> I have never seen all her junk up, up until today, and it's more than I thought. So I'm not sure that will be fixed by tomorrow, but I hope to see you this weekend. And I'm again, I'm number seven on the map. So uh, Robert Perez Jr. is number eight on the map, and he's at 1210 Salazar Road, Unit 3, number one. I think you can see it actually from the road. And uh, he does a lot of wonderful uh, sort of parable-based paintings. So uh, stop by his place and see more of his work. Next up is Dorothy Romo Manning. Dorothy? Hi. Um, well, uh, to prepare for this tour, I gave up landscapes and sunsets and tried something new. I always have my sculptures, which are from fallen wood from our hikes, but my paintings are done uh, with surface tension, acrylics with surface tension and paint density technique. This year, I decided to do three series and one of them is a Shinto series based on my 13 years in Japan. And one of them is the New Mexico geology that we see up in the mountains. And uh, the third is called the light in the night. And I decided to do that in March when COVID started. So they're little, they're little 10 by 10s um, and, and they're priced uh, at $95. It's just to lift your spirits, put something colorful somewhere where you know that we're going to come out at the end of this. I have a very large space actually. Uh, outside I can take up to nine or ten people, uh, four in the gallery inside my studio and really I don't like to have more than two people in the studio at a time but I sure sure would love to see you there and if you're not uh, in Taos please do go to my website, which is arisenfromtheforestfloor.com and look at my work and contact me if you'd like to come to the studio anytime. It says it's only appointment, but I can see I am not by appointment. I have plenty of room 
um, my studio mate sort of made room for me. I look forward to seeing you all. And please go to everyone's uh, place. Look at all these beautiful paintings. Thank, Thank you, Dorothy. You. Uh, next is Val Moutet. I don't think that Val is here either. She wasn't here the other night. So she's number 10 on the studio tour map. And I think she's actually got an image there in the uh, Taos News, the same image in the Tempo this week. And um, a kind of a painting in a painting. So um, stop by her place to check out her work. Cher McMacken. Cher, I'm not sure if she's here. This is one of her uh, paintings, I think, in oil. So uh, please stop by Cher's studio. She's number 11. Next up is Erica Wendell Oglesby. Sorry, Erica. Erica, <laughs> would you like to share about your work? I would. Well, welcome. My name is Erica with Adorn Your Life Sue at Studio 12 on the Tao Studio Tour. Um, I work in a variety of mediums, mosaic, one-of-a-kind jewelry, and wildlife greeting cards. Uh, flowers, birds, and nature scenes around me inspire my mosaics. Um, as you can see in the mosaic on the screen, I have a pear tree in my front yard, and the ravens love to steal my pears. In fact, I get very few. Um, my one-of-a-kind jewelry uses beads, pendants, and charms from a diversity of cultures from around the world. And I even have a line for him. So bring your, your guy, your brother, your whoever that's male with you because there'll be something for them too. Uh, my home studio is located in a wildlife corridor and allows me to capture just incredible images such as bobcats with their newborn kittens, owls, hawks, and other visitors. So please stop by Studio 12 to see my large cow skull mosaic that I will be working on throughout the entire Labor Day weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. You betcha. Next is Lydia Johnson. Johnston, Lydia. Hi, I'm Lydia Johnston. <laughs> so I'm number 13 on the tour map. And this year I'll be in a garage bay with the doors wide open. And it's at the same place as number 12. We're in separate spaces, but together. <laughs> and I'm an oil painter. My paintings are full of vibrant color and light. When you look at one of my paintings, I want you to sink into it and be transparent. <laughs> I create the sense of a place without the details, drawing you back continually to find something new. I start by laying on color. I want lots of layers. They add translucence and luminosity, depth and a richness, and I love to add dots and patterns. As I progress, the painting takes on a life of its own. I paint intuitively, never knowing where I'll end up, but loving the results. So I have a brand new series of paintings I'm really excited about. I hope you'll stop by number 13 to check them out. And if you're not in the area, I've just th this afternoon put a link on my website, lydiajohnston.com, to a page with all the paintings for the studio tour. So you can check that out. But I hope you can, I hope if you're in the area that you'll stop by and see all this new work. Thanks, Lydia. Thanks. Uh, next up is Inger Jerby. I don't think I saw Inger in the list. Sometimes she gets on our Zoom calls and sometimes she has trouble connecting. So Inger is well known in the area and she makes kind of colorful, carefree paintings. And she was highlighted last week in the Tempo. So perhaps you saw some of more of her work there. But she's number 14 on the studio tour at 207 Ledoux. Very easily accessible. So please stop by. Uh, Roger Martinez is number 15 on the tour. He paints in a variety of styles. Um, and he's at 404 Solomon Lane. That's right off Camino del Medio. So please stop by his place as well. Next up is Christine Wazak. Christine. Sarah. So my name is Christine Wazak. I'm an oil painter. 
Um, I am a plein air painter, which most of you know what that means, but um, if you don't, it's the French term for out in the open, uh, meaning that I paint my paintings outdoors, on location, from life. So I've got a studio full of them. <laughs> and uh, I would love to see you. I've got um, plenty of seating outside. The Google Maps doesn't always get it right. So your landmark is the Guadalajara Grill North Side. And if you can't make it, I totally understand that. Um, I keep my website very up to date. So it's always fun to check out where I've been, what I'm painting, in what season. So, thank you. Thanks, Christine. Yeah. Uh, next up is Glory Ann Pennington. Glory? Hi, I'm Glory. Um, the image that's on your screen and is behind me um, is of our Al Salto, and it was featured um, by Nat National Geographic in 2017. Um, it was a real honor to be able to show the beauty of our area to the world. Uh, most of my photographic images are impregnated in metal, which is fun. Um, I typically do landscape, as you can tell, architecture and classic cars. And um, also, it's, uh, the images are produced on a lot of home decor, such as pillows and totes and, and that kind of thing. Um, my website is photosbyglory.pixels.com. If you can't come visit, um, the, the gallery is on number 17. And um, Sarah, if you want to switch to Jim's, I'll be speaking for him as well. And I'm going to move my computer at the same time to show. Okay, great. I'll do that right now. If you want to flip to him. Yep, here yeah. we go. Thank you so much. So Jim McDonald is an oil painter, and I'm going to try to show one of his images. <laughs> this is hard to aim. <laughs> but um, this is Water on Rocks. It's, it's a huge painting. And above it is a smaller one done by me. Um, I'm fortunate to be able to take oil lessons from Jim. I've done six paintings now, and I'm, I'm my my whole artistic direction has shifted. So um, Jim is going to be doing live demos here. He's tour number 18, tour stop, right here in the same location, basically. And um, if you want to talk with Jim about taking um, lessons or putting workshops together, he would love to visit with you about that. So um, his website is jimmcdonaldartstudio.com. And you can find more information about that there. Thank, Thank you, you, Glory. Looking. <laughs> Next up is Scotty Mitchell. Scotty? Hi, and thank you for attending the studio preview. Um, as you can see, I'm primarily a plein air landscape painter, and I use pastels. And I just, I love the immediacy of painting outside at a very specific time and place. And I do hope that you will, um, that I manage to convey what I love about what I'm drawing. I've made a three minute studio tour video, which will give you a much better picture of my work and um, my studio. And it's on the Taos Artists Organization website under, in the member directory, my page has the site. I really recommend you to see the movie. And should that intrigue you and you want to come, my studio is in Arroyo Seco, which is in a short drive from um, Taos. And unfortunately, Google Map has made a mistake. And so do not turn down OV Taurus Road, but keep up El Salto Road and you will see the big 19, the big red 19 for the studio tour at the <clears throat> beginning of Cottonwood Lane. And I do so hope you can come. And I would appreciate it if people could um, call in advance because I'm not outside and I'm hoping I can arrange that there would be just one party at a time visiting my studio. So thank you so much. And my website is Scotty, it's not there. <laughs> it's www.scottymitchell.com if you also wanna see work that way. So I hope to see you, if not now, then at a later time. Thanks, Scotty. 
Next up is Patricia Keeler. Oh. <laughs> Patricia? Hi. I just unmuted. Hi, so I'm Patricia Keeler, and I am number 20 on the map. And um, I work in several mediums. I do beading, I silk, uh, I paint on silk, and I also do pastel. This painting is pastel. And um, the name of it is Walk Through Deep Space. Um, as you can see, uh, there's um, images of space in the corner, and these beings are in space. Um, there is a story behind this painting, but I usually like to have the viewer create their own story according to what um, they can resonate and relate to in my paintings. Um, this is one in a series of the White Buffalo Woman, and she is in the crone phase of her life. And um, when I paint, I also paint um, intuitively. I start with the scribble. And I don't always know what the images are going to be, but in the scribble, I see things. And uh, so I just, I kind of go with what direction the painting is leading me in. So um, <clears throat> again, I'm number 20 and my uh, house and art studio is at 140 Coyote Moon Road. And it's up on the Mesa about six miles past the earth ships towards Tres Piedras. My website is uh, Patricia Keeler Arts Cart dot carbon made dot com. And uh, my email address is Patricia Keeler PhD at gmail dot com. So um, I'm open to having people visit. You can uh, make an appointment or not. It's all okay. Thanks, Patricia. Okay. So these are the people on the tour. And next up, we just have a couple of folks uh, from members. Uh, one, who aren't on the tour. Uh, and the next one is uh, the president of our group, Melanie Redmond. Melanie, would you like to share a little about your piece? I can't hear her, but I did see her. There she is, hang on. <clears throat> Melanie, we can't hear you. Um, I unmuted me. Oh, now I can hear you, but it's very faint. Okay. Um, is that any better? Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. My name is Melanie Redman, and uh, this is photography um, melded onto canvas and torn, turned into an oil. So it's oil on canvas and designed with LED light illumination from behind. I actually have the painting behind me. I don't know if you can switch to a screen view, um, but this is called Voltage. And, um, and it's, a, it's a process that is based on Chinese Taoist techniques of using rice paper and um, making it so that you can uh, use both sides of it essentially almost like a reversible painting this isn't reversible but that's how you work with it being see so thank you very much thank you melanie um and next up is um, a member who has just gone above and beyond and helping out with the tour even though he wasn't able to participate and that is david douglas david hi um i'm david douglas and i am a photographer um, I've had shuddering experiences all my life. Not as great as when I raise my camera to snap an image. Um, the world is my studio, which reflects my interests. My passion is black and white photography. I find it evocative, emotional, thought inspiring, and soulful. I express myself through my photography. There's a little bit of me in all of my photographs. Uh, my second passion is the state of New Mexico. It gives me a home, a place to work, and endless photographic inspiration uh, and opportunities. Uh, I am, while I'm not physically on the tour, uh, I invite you to visit my website. I will be having virtual tours and discussions throughout the weekend. Uh, my website has a link to the schedule. If you just click on the TAO, Taos Artist Organization logo, it will take you to a page where you can 
see the schedule, uh, the Zoom link, and the passcode, uh, and the times. Uh, like Dr. Pepper, I'm having my uh, virtual tours at 10, 2, and 4 on all three days. So thank you very much. Um, hope to be hearing from you. Give me a call or send me an email. Thank you, David. So that is all of our studio tour participants this year. I know a few of us, aside from David, are also having um, doing uh, virtual visits uh, to our studios. I, for one, I'm doing a few on Facebook Live. I think Tawny Schuler is as well. And you can visit our websites and get those kinds of details. Um, so now what I'd like to do is come all together and thank you all again for joining us. It, I mean, honestly, it really means a lot to us that you took time out of your day to come and celebrate uh, our preview party, our, our opening, our ability to have this tour. We so appreciate it. And we'd like to raise a toast together to art and to health and to life. So thank you so much. Cheers. We salute you. Cheers. 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 Thank you all for, thank for you. joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much.